Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts, and boy, do we have a special edition for you guys today. Yeah, we're on site. We are on site at a distillery. Here in Indiana. You all may have heard of it, maybe not. If you haven't, you're going to want to check them out, I think. We haven't tried this one yet, but uh, we're going to tell you some about it. So we're on site at Starlight Distillery here in southern Indiana. Yeah, and it's an awesome facility and an awesome area. We've... Uh, been given a tour by by James who who works here oh, and um, we really got a really in depth tour of of the location I, and I'm actually quite impressed by uh, the the way they do their operations here um, making bourbon and other spirits absolutely and well, as well as they've got a, a pretty huge wine production facility and capability here that's pretty neat too i'm not a wine guy nope but um, our women's are our, yeah it's true our women's like the wine and the, i think we're gonna need to bring them back here i think when we go, <laughs> go home and tell them about it they're, they're gonna, gonna want to come back they're gonna here. be a little jealous i think yeah. a little bit so um we're so, james where are we near in indiana it's a small town called Borden. So we're near Borden, Indiana. Yeah. If you're not far, this would be a cool destination. This would be a cool destination if you're within a state or two. Drive down here. Yeah. Check this place out. Absolutely. Yeah. So. About 30 minutes north of Louisville. 30 minutes north of Louisville. Louisville is a great town to stay in. Absolutely. Um, and there's. Great food around there. Oh, right? outstanding So food. they're not far. Yeah. They're right over the bridge. Yeah, so pretty much. If you're coming from far away, my recommendation: stay in Louisville, drive 30 minutes north, check this place out, grab a bite to eat at their restaurant. Yeah, we need to do that. Which yeah, we're we're, we're, we're getting kind of hungry. <laughs> so they've actually provided us uh, a bourbon we haven't tried yet. This is Starlight Distillery Single Barrel Hubbard's uh, Hubert's 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 uh, Rick House Select. Um, so I'm gonna crack this open, and then so Dana. The uh, the wife of the the owner, um, she picked our song for us. So what should, what do we have on tap? So you guys are familiar with our concept of bourbon bribes. You send us bourbon, your song gets propelled to the list. Well, uh, given that this is not just a bourbon bribe, but it included a pretty good tour of the facility, her song goes to the front. So uh, what we have uh, queued up here is uh, Michael Ray... Uh, whiskey and rain. You ever heard this? Nope. I, I haven't heard. I have no idea what we're. I'm not in even for sure it. he's on our list. So this will be really awesome. This will be a new artist for us. Yep, new artist. Um, cool. Yeah, I have no idea what we're in for. So without any further ado, let's let's check out uh, whiskey and rain. Ooh, the important part, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna probably just listen because it's over there. So I'll probably just listen rather than watch the video. Oh, folks, looks like it's storm. Never know.
That's the best. I hate to break in on the the kind of uh, fiddle yeah. and guitar getting ready to go there. Bit. I have to back it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but every now and then you come across a song that's just a mood song. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Like, it's setting a vibe. It's setting a tone. Yeah. And I, I don't know about you guys, but when it's just raining outside, I mean, sitting back with a glass of whiskey... And watching that rain hit the the windows, um, it's kind of a, a, a serene, soothing, soothing relaxing. sensation. Yeah. And these guys are tapping into that. A little bit. They're aware of that. Yeah. I mean, he's got some some messaging about you know she left me and I'm sad about it, but right. And I'm washing away the past. I'm like you're right, yeah. but largely this is mood stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. Let me let me back this up just, just a hex or just a touch so we get uh, that instrumental fully. Sometimes misery loves company. name michael ray so you all well, yeah, you have fallen down on the job a little bit here come on guys we should have known about this song absolutely this should have been on our list yeah i'm guessing this uh artist should have been on our list that's what i was thinking he's got a really good voice he, he's got a good voice yeah. uh, whatever band is behind him is pretty solid too but and man they, can this dude tap into a vibe there you go and who hadn't been there it, 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 like it's super relatable. Yeah, who it's, who hadn't been there? She left. Yeah. I'm hating life. I'm gonna drink some. I'm gonna sit here and watch it rain and <laughs> do nothing else. Get into this a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we should have known about this guy. So you mentioned the lyrics a couple times. I thought if, they were great. If he wrote this song, well, we don't know if he did. You guys can tell us in the yeah, comments. Tell us. Right. If if you all know, tell us. Um, this look great, man. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a solid package. The song is a solid package. Absolutely. The background music cr started to create the vibe. His vocals seal the vibe. Definitely. And, and some cool fiddles in there, some cool guitar runs. And the lyrics put it all into context. Absolutely. So, I mean, that, that was a sweet song. Now... Tell me what you're thinking well, about. Before we get into the... I kind of want to get into the bourbon. Maybe. I know, I know you do. So, before we get into the bourbon, we warned James. He said, look, one of our tenets on this channel is we give genuine reactions. If we like it, you're going to know. If we don't like it, you're going to know. So we said, James, you got to know that. Good one. <laughs> you got to know that. What do you think? Did he let us down? I don't think James has disappointed. <laughs> not. Um, this is outstanding. Um, but I w so give me a little background on the bottle here. So it's a single barrel, and it's a barrel pick. Is that correct? Or is it? It's a single barrel, um, and it is selected by their master distiller. Okay. Um, I have not met the master distiller. Not yet. Uh, but clearly they are very good at their job. They, they potentially know what they're doing. <laughs> It uh, seems that way. It is sitting at 118 proof. So we that have, blows my mind. Right. 
Yeah, I would have called this. Why did that blow your mind? I'd have called it at 95 proof. Yep, because it's so smooth. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so I would say, so I would say, I think he did a pretty decent job. Uh, This was, uh, let's see. So it was held in uh, barrels for a minimum of four years, not aged super long, uh, minimum of four. So we don't know how long it was total, but. So let's talk about it a little bit. What do you get on the nose? I, I get a little oak. Um, the, it's not a particularly strong nose. Nope. And I will tell you this. The nose gives you exactly zero idea of what you're in for when you take that sip. 100%. It's got a super clean, super... It's So it's not an overpowering nose. It's not one that I'm... So I've, I've had some bourbons where, you know, I'll take it and I'm like, I don't even want to drink this because it just smells so good. It's like a candle. Well, we've had the opposite, too. I had one that uh, had a nose like burnt rubber. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is not... It's, this, this doesn't it's tell not, you what you're in for, though. It doesn't. It's it's pleasant. Um, it's it's very... It's got a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of woodiness, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, I'm actually not getting much of a strong nose at all. Uh-uh. And we're they, they've provided us these nice little glasses here. Mm-hmm. Um, so... This type of glasses generally help with the nose. A well, bit. you know what? I, at a at a second pass, I am getting light florals with it. Are you? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not getting that. Yeah. That's just you. It's just me. Yeah, you got it the happens. flowers. You got the flowers. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's talk about that palette a little bit. <laughs> I'm having trouble coming up with the right words to describe the finish. Let's talk about the, the initial hit first. So the initial hit, I'm getting caramels and cinnamons, okay. which are, you guys are aware, those are my favorite flavors in bourbons. Yep. And it's, it's, it's like that first hit is just packed full of caramel. A little bit of, I don't get a ton of cinnamon, but a little bit. It's To me, it's I'm getting there. punched with caramel. It, it It's there. And somewhere in in the mid phase, I think I'm getting some kind of citrusy notes, but they're not super strong. Hmm. To check my math there. That, that's where it's the mid phase. I think I can't just I'm having trouble describing. That's not to say that it's bad. It's actually really darn good, but I'm having a, a hard time coming up with the right words for it. So what I get, and it's interesting. This is this is really interesting in that. It goes from a super strong punch of a sweetness to a dry, a, a super dry finish. And I think that's the proof coming out. The finish kind of dries up a little bit. You, you've you accurately described the front end and the finish, but what's in that mid phase I can't articulate, man. It's delicious, but I can't name it. I, and I'd add the, um, the finish kind of has, it's it's got a little bit of raw pepper to it, which... You guys know that I like rice, so that suits my palate well. It yeah. also has a mix of a bittersweet finish, which you guys also know I like. Uh-huh. I mean, the finish, the finish is is glorious. It, this, it sits there and it just sits there, and it just sits there, and I could just slow sip this all day long. You know what? I'm going. I'm not going to take a drink for a little while. All right, see what because I want to see how long that finish sits on my tongue. That's a good idea. Meanwhile, you got to figure out what's in that mid. What's in the mid palate? Yeah. I'll, I'll do my best. I'm doing my best, all right? I can't do it. Don't, no pressure. All the pressure, dude. Stop. <laughs> pressure. So what I get, which shouldn't be difficult for you to describe, but I think what makes it difficult is how quickly it goes to that dry finish. What I get when you transition from caramel to the finish is you kind of get that oak. That oak just kind of pops in there, and it's you get a, real, a lot of wood right in the middle. But it's not there for very long because it drops to that bitter finish that's like almost chocolate, like a dark cocoa bitter. So I can't forget what, or I forget what restaurant it is, but... They have this delicious, it's one of those uh, kind of mid-tier uh, steak chains. 
Okay. They have this delicious cinnamon butter that goes on their bread. Oh, you're talking about Texas Roadhouse. That. Yeah. Is is that the med for you're you? You're getting us... Dude, stop this. <laughs> I can definitely just see that cinnamon butter now. Absolutely. Well, any way you cut it, this checks all the boxes for me. Yes. Um, I'm going so, home. I'm going to go back to the gift shop <laughs> and buy a bottle of this get one that's of going home with me. Right. Um, because this is great. This um and we've we've tasted a bunch of other stuff here too, uh, and we've yet to run into anything that we didn't like so far. So far, yeah, yeah, seriously. And, and we've had some really great access and thanks you know, to James. If we don't like it, we're gonna pour it out. That's you guys, you guys have watched me walk out of the room and and pour a glass of water afterwards. Yeah, because you were trying to get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, that <laughs> right. That is not the case with this. Absolutely not. James, how much does this cost? Uh, that is, uh, MSRP is $50. So 50 bucks for this, 50 bucks. Uh, James, so James is in the, in the room. Uh, he's off camera. If he wants to make an appearance, sure. he's welcome to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, first I need you to plug your ears like this. I'd totally pay about 85 bucks for this bottle. Shh. He's, he's got his ears plugged. He's right there. Okay, you're 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 clear now. Seventeen ninety nine and not a penny. Seventeen ninety nine and not a penny more. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> no. So so James, thanks for the tour today. Absolutely. That was absolutely uh, incredible. We appreciate the access and the time you spent with us. Not, uh, not a problem. So YouTube, meet James. James is awesome. Hey yep. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So hey, uh, anything you'd like to say about Starlight while we're here? Um. Well, first off. We appreciate you all coming up and hanging out with us. Um, I'm glad you all have had a great time. Um, but as, as far as just kind of talking more about what's in your glass, um, so the, the master distiller, of course, is Ted Huber. Um, and if you look at the bottle, you see that it has that T Huber there. Yeah. So Ted Huber. Gotcha. So he, he selected this barrel, essentially, to sell in our gift shop. This is Ted's, this, so this is Ted's barrel pick. Yeah. Good job, Ted. Seriously. <laughs> No kidding. <laughs> so, you did good. This, and is, then, this is great. Um, you know, like I told you all earlier, the reason I picked this for you all is because um, our barrel program is quite expansive. That's right. And, you know, as much as I want you all to try Carl T. Uh, small Batch, which is our core bourbon, or our old Rick House Small Batch Rye, our core rye whiskey, um, those have some limited uh, distribution points to surrounding states, essentially, uh, whereas our barrel program is quite expansive. So, you know, if you're interested in doing a barrel pick with us, uh, get in contact through our website, essentially. There's a tab on our website that says private selection program where you can sign up for that and uh, you can come on site and we'll sample you through barrels. Uh, and, you know, you might land on something similar to the single barrel here. So yeah. that is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, James, we really appreciate your time. Definitely. You guys make great products here. Yeah. Um, we've really enjoyed tasting a bunch of them. I think we're coming back with the women's. We have to. We have, to. A, we good, have to. It's a good plan. They're yeah. going to they're gonna be a little upset. You need to, you need to kill a video real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. You forgot to do, do that. that. <laughs> yeah, it goes away. Look, we, we even, yeah. You know where you know you, know <laughs> yeah, you guys know who we are. <laughs> uh, it's fine. So, so uh, hey, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, uh, click click the little bell thing so mm -hmm. you get a notification that uh, new stuff is dropped. We drop these videos somewhere between lately uh, three, three and five a week, exactly. sometimes six. Yep. Uh, so uh, you want to be notified about that. Mm -hmm. Get down in the comments. Tell us what we need to listen to. Yep. Tell us what we need to drink. We we love bourbon re recommendations, and uh, Dustin meticulously checks your song recommendations. And bourbon. He's yep. yeah. He's tracking something like a uh, more oh, than close, thousand close songs. Close to two thousand oh. songs at this yeah. point. Yeah. That people have requested you got for us a lot to react of videos to. to make, guys. We, <laughs> we do. We absolutely our, do. Our work, there's no shortage of work over on this side, but we're having fun with it. So hopefully you all are having fun with it. Yep. Right? Enjoying uh, the videos. This one will probably drop as soon as we get past the YouTube checks. So this will be a special edition on site at Starlight. Um, and hopefully we get to do more of these. Yep. 
So, hey, till next time, guys. Take care.